Let me show you how the um, case escalation um, scenario works. First of all, let's go to the workplace and I look at the queues. A little bit ago, remember we had these queues and I had East and West, but we've got escalation level one, two, and standard service. These are the three queues that we're going to work with in this case escalation scenario. So what's going to happen is a new case record is going to come in and we have a service level agreement. Case gets first put into the standard service queue, but then if a certain amount of time elapses and it doesn't get resolved, it goes to escalation one, then it goes to escalation level two, and obviously we can have all kinds of other things happen. People get notified, heads roll, whatever happens when those things, lots of other things can happen too. But let's go look at the logic of this case escalation workflow and see how it works, and then we can always complicate it. So here's this workflow. Again, scope of organization runs on create. Now this one, notice it's also available as a child workflow, and that's because this is one of those recursive scenarios. So what does the workflow do? The first thing that you do in this workflow, and this is really an important one, you really do need to check to see if it's active. Because it may seem obvious, okay, the first time you create the case, of course it's obvious. But then this one, we've got all these weights and things like that in here. And, you know, the second, third time you come in, you, there's, there's a good chance it won't be active. It's, it's, so what does this do? Once we get in here, we check and see if it's active. Suppose it is. Then I've got these, this conditional block. And the first thing I do is check to see if custom attribute, this escalation counter, and I'll show you that in a minute, if it doesn't contain data, then we, we can assume this is a new case and notice that we're, get, we're routing it to the standard service queue. But notice there's this escalation thing. Suppose the escalation counter field does contain data, in particular that it's equal to 1, then I'm going to assign this case to the escalation level 1 queue. Otherwise, if it's equal to 2, I put it in escalation level 2. Otherwise, it's really bad. Here's the part where we do the wait and the escalate. So here's our service level, and this is a pretty draconian service operation. So here's your one minute again, but this obviously can be whatever you want it to be. This is a workflow timeout. This is going to wait until a minute after the case record has been modified. Then what we want to do, you time out for a certain period of time. Then the key thing is that you want to check to see if the case record is, has a status of active. Because if it is, then we're going to update the case record by doing what? We're going to increment that escalation counter attribute. So here's, what, here's this custom attribute. And it's on the additional fields, I believe. So here's our escalation counter. So this one simply requires is an extra field, extra attribute on the case record, this escalation counter. Here's a good use of the increment by. Let's modify this slightly just to sort of show you how in, in real life how I might do this. Let's save and close. And let's go customize the case record. And when I'm debugging something like this or troubleshooting or figuring it out in the first place, I might put something like that on the case form. This makes it a lot more obvious, and then obviously you're going to take it off of there. But let's go customize case, sort of show you what's here. And if I go to, uh, let's add a section. And let's suppose this, uh, call this temp or something like that, so I know that I'm going to get rid of things from it. And then let's add that field, the escalation counter, to that section so we can see it in the UI. Okay, so I don't have to go hunting for it. So I save and close and publish. Then I'm going to go modify the workflow and I'll show you how to put that thing on there. So I publish the case entity, go back to the workflow. Here's my case escalation. Now, let's minimize this, go back down to here, and what I want to do, remember I was updating case, so I go to set properties, I want to increment that, and here's my increment by, right, so now it's on the form, I come in here, go to the escalation counter, and simply do a what? Increment by one every time in, and all you got to do to do that 
boom, it just puts it right in there. So that's a good use of the increment by. So now, what does this look like when I actually run it? This is one of those examples. And then, by the way, here, the last thing. See what we do here? This is our escalation. Okay, I'm going to call this workflow, the case escalation workflow, as a child workflow. And remember, it's got to be exposed as a child workflow. If this isn't selected, you won't be able to do that. So you have to make sure that that thing, you know, the process is going to be tick that, save the workflow so it picks it up, and then you'll be able to go call this case escalation. Otherwise, it won't be here because it's not available as a child workflow. You can see it if you do this. So uncheck it, save it, save, it's hard to tell sometimes. Notice now, I can't select it because no, nothing's exposed, there's no, no child workflows that I can call. So I've got to do this, save it, and once it's saved, then I can go tell it to call that. So the first workflow is done. It's going to start the. It's going to go call itself. Let's publish this thing. And now let's go create a case record. And then you'll see as this thing, as the workflow runs, you'll see if we watch it carefully, we can see these the, the new case record advance through those different queues that it's getting routed to. Right. So remember, cases can be put directly into queues. And notice I added the escalation counter to that view. Let's see this in a second. So uh, new case one for a store. I think everything else I can just accept all the defaults. And I'll make new case two. Advanced components service. And, then, and I'll just do one more. Okay, so now what do we got here? Okay, I've got new case one, new case two, new case three. You can't really tell much from here, but you could do what? You go to the workplace, and if you look at the standard service, you'll see that they're all in here. So new case one, new case two, new case three. Okay, so far so good. And let's refresh this again. Okay, now that now we've got a couple of things that have disappeared out of that queue. Where'd they go? Oh, now there are three in escalation level one, right? So they've gone from that queue to this queue. And you have to be quick about that because I created those so close to each other. Um, and now they're in here, and let's go to the third one. See what the workflow is doing. It says it's waiting. I can open it up, and we can see where the wait is. So here we are now in the second time, right? It's gone into escalation level one. Now it's on the wait here, then it's going to check to see if it's active. If it is, it's going to update the counter and then call the thing again. Then it comes in at the top, checks to see if it's active, checks to see where it is, and the next time it'll put in that escalation level two. So I close this out. Now probably you start to see here's case one and two, and then pretty soon case three is going to be there unless I can get it in time and resolve it. Let's see if we can do it. Phew. Just in the nick of time. Okay, so at least we resolved one of them. So then when it checks, it's out of this queue. Notice it didn't go into the escalation level two queue because what? Because it's resolved. So that's how it hit that. Now, obviously, this the escalation, that isn't really an escalation, just going from one queue to another. But it could be according to business processes. If it's the you know the head honchos that uh, that look at this escalation level two queue and the medium honchos that look at this one, and the low-level honchos that look at standard service. You don't want things to get to the, the big guys, but it uh, illustrates the point. Obviously, you can do a lot of other things.